You're listening to an Anazal Ministries podcast. Should we seek revenge on demons? Uh, today we're going to be discussing Demon Slayer. Uh, this episode is primarily for those familiar with the show. Uh, even if you aren't experts of it, you know, we don't ask that of you. That's kind of our job. Uh, hey everyone, welcome to Systematic Geekology. We are priest to the geeks. Uh, we are not all ordained ministers, uh, and you know, we say priest to the geeks, but really we mean priest in the biblical sense of being a mediator. Uh, this is not a Trojan horse kind of trap. Uh, we don't have a hidden agenda. We're real geeks looking to explore the theological and philosophical implications in things we love. Uh, you can check us out on social media. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I think they're all at Systematic Ecology. And I am TJ. I am, a, you know, a kitchen manager at Chipotle. Nice, holy position in the church there. And uh, uh, lately, I've been geeking out really hard on Elden Ring. Uh, the game came out last Thursday, a week ago, and I have 47 and a half hours so far. Wow. And, you know, that's that's just me. Well, Do you know? <laughs> so I am Keno Kennedy. I serve as the pastor of Union Bethel Amy Zion Church in Cornelius. Um, but what am I? What am I geeking on? Oh, Psycho Pass. I just discovered this on Hulu. Um, it's really interesting take on trying to. It's almost like um, Minority Report as an anime. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you seen it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, good. Okay. So is it really, I was like, ah, I'm just getting it. I'm like, I'm not feeling it, feeling it. But, but if you say it's good, then I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm a binge it. It's, it's yeah. not for everyone, but it's good. No, 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 I like it. I like it so far. Good. I'm not excited about it like Demon Slayer, but I like it though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex. Me next. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody. I am Alex. Um, I am currently battling allergies right now trying to trying to breathe but it's okay i took claritin and hasn't been working but we're going to try something else tomorrow um and i'm currently geeking out over haunting of hill house my friend got me on it and i really like it so far it's really good it's really good yeah mm -hmm. yeah i've heard a lot about haunting on hill house uh yo josh we all know josh here and uh, if you're a long time listener, you probably know Josh as well, but his wife tried to get me to watch it so many times and I just, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Maybe I will. It's uh, good. It's like, else has recommended it. It's more like suspense and jump scares. It's not like, you're, it's not like a horror movie where there's like. Right, it's stuff. suspense. It's, it's yeah, it's mainly suspense and jump scares. And like the way the story is also written and like the cinematics of it all is just. Chef's kiss. Right. Chef's kiss. It's really good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Ten out of ten. Uh, yeah, All Alex, right. you need to try yeah, Alex, you need to try the netting pot to help clean out that those allergies. Okay. Netting pot? Uh, netting yeah, pot. You, know. you know what that is? The little thing that you put through your nose, uh, go through one end, flushes <laughs> it out. <laughs> no. It works. Absolutely it does work. Not. It does work. Mm -mm. It works. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, joking to me. no 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 that thing works i i just i have allergies real bad too but the, this get that neti pot save your life it works mm. but, all right it is uh, <laughs> it's time for today's subject today we're talking about demon slayer and we chose demon slayer because it's you know if you've been paying attention the last couple years it's rapidly become one of the biggest media properties on the planet. Uh, they released a movie called Mugen Train, for those unfamiliar, that became the highest grossing movie of all time in Japan. Maybe and it, it still stands, I'm pretty sure. I cried too. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I cried too. God, it was so good. It was very good. Yeah, let, let's go ahead. What do you guys think about uh, them starting season two with just Mugen Train again? I was disappointed. Ooh. <laughs> uh, only because I, I seen the movie. I seen the movie. The only thing I was like, wait, so I just need to watch the first episode and everything else is just the movie. 
I, I was like, yo, this is this. I don't want to watch this again because um, the movie was so uh-huh. awesome. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I I drug my children to go see it too. I didn't care if they liked it or not. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna see this and enjoy this. But yeah, no, it was that. That's just me. It's just that you know. It's just rewatching the whole series again, even though I didn't watch the movie. I'm not. I wasn't. I was down for that. That's right. just me. I was like more confused on why they did it that way since we already seen the, the movie already came out before then and it was like probably on a lot of streaming services for people to watch it. So I don't know. Yeah. I was confused on what they were trying to do with that. Yeah, there's a couple reasons. They uh I think they wanted to make it easier for people rewatching the series to just rewatch it normally, like episode by episode instead of taking a break watching the movie and then going back. Uh, and then also the entertainment district arc is kind of short. So they're, if they had just done it, you know, starting episode one, season two, entertainment district arc, we would have gotten uh, like a quarter or a third of the way through the next arc, which would have just been an awkward place to leave off season two. But I do agree. I really wish they hadn't done it. Mm-hmm. The movie yeah. was incredible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was. Oh my gosh! The the fight scene at the end was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm getting teary. I just thinking about it. Oh my gosh! I got my dad hooked on this show. And Did you? Yes, and he's all about like action and like Dragon Ball is probably his favorite one. And then Correct. there's Naruto. Yes. I also got yeah. him on um, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good man, good man, yeah. good tastes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. So so yeah, I'm like your dad. I like more action packed anime. And uh I I I probably said this before and I'm gonna say it again. I don't care. But the reason I watched this show was because I saw a clip on Twitter where Inosuke and Tanjiro was fighting. And Zenitsu said, I heard his ribs crack and they showed that they showed that fight. And I said, oh, what is this? I was like, I got to find out what this is. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I was hooked ever since then. Mm. Mm. See, I, I discovered I, I thought you were going to. Mm, I thought you were going to say you saw the <laughs> clip on Twitter of uh, season one, episode 19. Like half of the other people who watch this show uh, when he's fighting uh, Ruri. And like you know, the snake dude or the spider dude. Spider dude, no, no, no. Does the Hinokami Kagura Tanjiro does? Yeah. Because that yeah, was no. gorgeous. That was oh no, that that listen, that whole setup was great. Like the how they just made the uh Rui had his own family and everyone was fighting and just then we got to see Zenitsu really fight. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> really fight and like and like he is bad. He, mm-hmm. is, he is bad. Like even though he is the little wimp, he cry a lot. He go to sleep. Ones. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's different. That was different. yeah. That's like one of the best parts of the entertainment district is uh, Zenitsu is like asleep the whole time. The whole mm-hmm. time. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and then that's yeah. a real reason I can't wait for this show to finish because <gasps> you Kino know, knows. <gasps> I'm not yes. going to go too far into it. Not but either. Zenitsu gets up to it. Oh, I'm excited. He does. Though. That's my boy. So, so, so let's just let's just keep going in because I, I, I have this. I've been talking with some friends about this, and and one of the things I like about this show is, is that every time you see uh, Tanjiro, in essence, level up, so does his sister. Um, oh gosh, I forgot her name. That quick. Um, Nezuko. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Every time Tanjiro gets gets stronger or better, so does his sister. Mm-hmm. Even though she doesn't fight that much, but that's that's she that fights. was a huge. I mean, she does fight now. Granted, granted, Wait, she, she fights. She holds, she, fights. she holds her own. Uh huh. Does hold her own. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that because mm-hmm. the girl when she started waking up and she was ah uh, that uh episode with the uh I'm gonna call them assassins to do with the little balls. What's the, what's the balls called? Oh, um, I know what you're the talking girl about. with the balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think of the name. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh-huh. it's like a, a Japanese toy. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's when we first saw her. But then as she got, as the storyline progressed, and you see Tandro getting better, so you saw her getting better. 
that in the end of the the district art, she was she was about to lose it. She, mm-hmm. <laughs> she, she was, yeah, she was about to lose it. Right? Hey, she come all, back, she, come back. <laughs> she was so close, <laughs> but it was so cool to see. I was like, yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. It, if it's not clear at this point, uh, we all love the show. <laughs> yes, uh, very much. But yes. I, I would like to say, I think I have a, a pretty unpopular opinion when it comes to the show. I think the plot in general, and I read the manga too, uh, I think it's very generic. But it being generic allows them to do so much in the universe. Like, it's not super complicated. It's a little complicated. Towards the end, it does get more complicated. But it is done so well that it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about that statement. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I understand and I do, and I do agree. It's a little generic. However, it's an evolution to this thing. Yeah. Uh, where it gets a little deeper and it, 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 it evolves in such a way that you, and it circles back around to me um, at the end. Um, I'm not going to say anything else, but, but I don't, I don't, I don't think it's generic. I, uh, I mean, it has the same, same type expectations of, you know, the, the, the hero finding himself and learning who he is and growing and developing. I get that. But, but this, this whole, this whole, I don't, I don't know, TJ. This, <laughs> Look, I don't just, know, TJ. I, I've read a lot of manga. I think the plot's generic, but it's done so well. You know, clearly most of the planet loves it. I love it. It's so good. Now, you know, I'm not trying to disparage it, but I do think it's a little generic, especially at the beginning. Okay. By the end, yes. you're yes. able to forget all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's just okay. an incredible story. Okay. Because they I, do it I, so well. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I, I will I will confess that I don't read mangas. However, when I finished the first season of Demon Slayer, I was like, I got to find out how does this end? Because I was watching YouTube videos and they were talking about all the stuff that was happening. I was like, you know what? Forget what y'all talking about. I'm finna just get the daggone manga. And right. I bought I bought the mangas and I was read them online. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I, I got to know how this end. And I was like, yo, this is this is a dope, dope show. Yeah. Yeah, I did the same exact thing. I watched season one and I was like, well. I'm not going to wait that long to see it in. <laughs> I'm going to find out tonight. So I did. I went and read, Ooh. you know, the other 124 chapters that did day. Did you? I, in one night? Yeah. yeah. It was wow. so good. Was. I, I read fast. I read fast. But it was so good. I couldn't stop. I think I stopped reading it like, like three in the morning. Wow. And man, it was so good. Alex, yeah, Alex, you got to read it. Yeah, I, I, I want to so bad. You got to, you got to, you got to, because because listen, it's gonna change your life. Okay, it's gonna change your <laughs> life. Okay, change your life. I promise you, it's gonna change your life. No, I believe change it. mine. I believe it. after that, <laughs> after this last arc, I was like, okay, yes, okay. just wait, just oh, wait until. Okay. Oh, okay, just wait. Yeah. Like man, like the thing is about this sto- show is it is it is going to a climax that is going to blow our expectations out of the water. Like, yes, yes. The beginning, the first, the first uh, season. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it, I, I would agree with you. It's pretty generic about how he's the, the start of everything, but, but let's just be real though. I, well, let me just say this. I didn't think he was going to be able to make it to the final selection because of how weak he was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, you know, just, and, the fact is that he split that boulder in two. I don't know about you, but I was surprised. <laughs> right. It's, it's something that they do really well. It's, yeah. you know, you he, we don't see him as like ultra powerful or like he doesn't have like the main character status really, but he always makes it through just mm-hmm. barely. Yeah. 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 Especially you, last can't, you can't do, you have to root for him. You, you, you have to root for him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Is, are there any misconceptions you guys have heard about Demon Slayer? None. 
I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> <None. Nope. laughs> uh, none. Like like this 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 particular uh anime and manga is is one of the fastest uh grossing selling movie, manga, anime, all that stuff. Like it's just surprising how well everyone has taken on to this. Mm-hmm. And I haven't heard anything negative about it. Um, but I'm also not looking either because I don't care what you got to say. Right. Exactly. It's just awesome. Exactly. <laughs> I, uh, it actually it outsold the One Piece manga for a couple of months last year, which or the year before last year, which is absolutely insane because the One Piece manga has been was number one for like 10 or 15 years in a row every Whoa. month. So really impressive stuff. Hmm. Uh, but I did hear one misconception, only one, and it was what? like last week at work. Because I was talking to my boy Tristan, and he said, I just don't like how it always feels like, uh, you know, like Nezuko is getting power stronger by the power of love. Or, you know, they always just win because of the power of love. It's like, no, you don't get it. You will eventually. Uh, what? Because that, they explain they said that? No, they're not yeah. a real fan. Yeah. They're not a real fan. He is not yeah. a real fan. He's not a real fan. <laughs> he don't he don't understand he don't understand anime. He just a casual watcher. That's what it is. Exactly. Okay. Right. Somebody told him to watch it. He sat down and it was like, oh, okay, I like this. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I will say, he technically is correct for a very small part that is actually the power of love. But we haven't gotten there yet in the anime. Oh. I was say, yeah, I agree. but but it is, I, I, it's literally the I, power of love, so it's a little different. <sighs> it's not just like a, a camaraderie <laughs> thing. Oh no! Listen, so so then I'm a, I'm gonna just bring in my own my own theology stuff. So this is this is a great great example of family systems. This bond between the brother and sister is so strong that they're willing each other to keep moving forward and progressing. So when one falls, the other one can take up the slack. That's how it should be. It, yeah, it's not just love. Is it love? <sighs> Come on, uh, come I'm, on. I'm gonna just leave that alone. I'm, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not, going, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm gonna go there. No, because we had this misconception <laughs> about love and what it's supposed to do and how it's supposed to be and all this other stuff and this feeling. That's not a feeling. Love is supposed to be action and what you do for somebody. And if the feeling that you have will eventually go away. I tell people all the time, and she's in the other room, so she know I'm telling the truth. My wife gets on my nerves every day. Okay, she gets on my nerves every day. We've been married for 17 years. It's coming August. I still love her. But she gets my nerves every day. That don't change anything. It's just what it is. And if I felt like what I did 15 years ago or 17 years ago, we would not have grown. We would not have evolved. And so this whole idea about love being this overwhelming feeling that makes you just lose sense of self and time, that's that's unhealthy. That is not love. That's codependency. That's what that is. Okay? <laughs> right. Tell them. <laughs> preach on preach on. I'm trying not to y'all not to. okay so uh, on a you know if there's nothing else anyone would like to say on a scale of 1 to 10 how would you guys rate Demon Slayer uh, Alex we'll let you go first since you've only seen the anime I mean I want to say 10 just straight up 10 yeah everything's yeah. good Everything's good. 10, 10, yeah. 10. Mm-hmm. Kind of easy, honestly. Easy yeah. grade. Yep. <laughs> so, Kino, uh, what do you think? I say a 10, too. Listen I, listen, I have seen it, read it, and I can't wait to see it again. Mm-hmm. Okay? I, right. Like, literally, I rewatched season one prior to the Mugen train coming out so I could be prepared for when it happened. So, so listen, I, yes, it is a 10. It is worth it. It is worth it. Oh yeah. No, I have to agree. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if I'm going to rank it all time, it's definitely in my top five. Oh yeah. It might be number five, but it's top five. Because it's a perfect. So, wait, hold on. Perfect. so what's, what's, what's your other four then? Ooh. So I've got One Piece, Hunter, Hunter. Okay. Uh, 
Vinland Saga, Berserk, Demon Slayer. Hmm. Okay. Incredible, incredible books. But okay. Hunter Hunter's not going to finish. So I think it might have to get moved down a little. It's not going to finish? Just because. What do you mean it's not going to finish? What do you mean? Do no, like, probably not. Boo. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tagashi is uh, ill. He has asked his wife. This is breaking news as of today. Uh, he did actually ask his wife, uh, Naoka, don't remember her last name, the author of Sailor Moon, uh, to finish it for him. So it, wow. it probably will finish, but it will, won't be quite the same. It's still going to be up there for me, but that is some unfortunate news. Yeah. So it gets tens across the board. Uh, what impact do you guys think Demon Slayer has had on our culture so far? I've seen it all over TikTok for months when the first season came out. So it had a pretty big grip, at least for like people on TikTok. That's, that's all I would right. see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still see it pretty consistently on my TikTok. So it, it's definitely yeah. out there in the reach. So I'm the old guy. I'm not on TikTok like that. I'm not on Facebook <laughs> for real. I'm not on Twitter. I, so I don't. I don't know who's saying what. Okay, I'll just scroll and and that's it. So I. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. I, I really think it might be a little too soon to see it what impact it's going to have on our culture. But I do think it showed a lot of studios that it's okay to invest a lot in a show Mm -hmm. because it's going to be worth it. I think a good place to see that is Jujutsu Kaisen. We mentioned it (gasps) earlier. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's so good. Yes. Like it it looks good. good. It doesn't look as good as Demon Slayer. Usually. But, Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's it's, it's still, it's still good. It's still up there. So let me ask then. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, let me ask you all. So, uh, especially TJ, because you read the manga, how many more seasons do you see? Would they, first of all, let me ask this question. Do you think there are going to be another movie or movies? So, we are... Seeing how what they did with the Mugen Train. Yeah. Uh, so, the last episode of the Entertainment District arc was 99. Uh, it was chapter 99 in the manga. That puts us with 106 left. So, you know, they're kind of going faster. They're doing a couple of chapters per episode. Uh, I think it's going to be two normal length seasons and then a movie to finish it off. Okay. Oh, I see that. Which, mm. Yeah, it'd be a good movie. That. It was gonna be a great movie. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be a great movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be a great movie. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 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 this this reminded me when you talk about the movie in the last arc we got a glimpse of um, oh gosh um, oh gosh I can't think of the Demon King's name oh uh, <sighs> Kibutsuji Muzan Kibutsuji Muzan 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 we saw the effects of Muzan's blood on his upper rank moons. Um, if you recall how when they were fighting the, I can't think of her name. Gosh, I'm, y'all forgive me. I'm forgetting everybody's name tonight. Is it but in the entertainment, uh, is it Tadaki? Wait, you're talking about the, the sister. Uh, is it, yeah, Daki. Daki. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. When, she, when she saw Tanjiro and she had a flashback and she was like, this is not my memory. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love that yeah. scene so much. Yeah. Because <laughs> this man, if you're afraid of manga spoilers, cover your ears. But <laughs> this man, Muichiro, gave Muzan PTSD so bad yes. that other demons have it through his blood. That's yes. crazy. <laughs> That's just wild. And it's not even him. It's just a kid that looks like him. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that yeah. was. I thought that was. I thought that was a great foreshadowing and uh, a great and they, and they placed it in the right in the right time to set everything else up. Because if you hold on to that, you will then have an idea of what's going to come down the road. Yeah, yeah. So 
Yeah. Great. I hope, I'm not spelling anything for you, Alex. I'm hoping we're not trying to spoil anything. Oh, no, you're good. To it's keep, totally, keep it basic, you know. Right. No, you're totally good. It's, it's, it's to like do. that scene, I was like, huh. So <laughs> I held on to that and I was like, all right, it's going to be yeah. coming put up that, later. Put that in the, in the yeah. filing cabinet, you know? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. So if you haven't picked it up, if you're listening to this without having watched Demon Slayer, you got to see it. Uh, if you have watched Demon Slayer, let us know what you think about our thoughts or just what you think about the show. Uh, like I said earlier, we're on every or most social media platforms at Systematic Geekology. If you like the episode, support us on Patreon if you wouldn't mind. Uh, it helps us so much at Systematic Geekology. Head over there, slide us a couple dollars. You get some great rewards for it. And uh, what are some theological and philosophical themes that we found in Demon Slayer? Ooh. So, well, especially, uh, oh, well, you, you go first. No, 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 no. Please go. No, by all means, Miss Alex, go. Go. Uh, okay. 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 Well, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. What I've seen throughout the show, especially with the last couple episodes after the brother and sister demon were like dying and passing away, or whatever, there was talk of like being reborn and like the afterlife and stuff. Um. yeah he said like how he's going to be like there was a scene where they were in this dark space and like one path led to like flames and the other path was like all shiny and stuff and they got to choose like which where which way to go they walked in the flames and I was like okay that's dumb but like whatever that's like poetic I guess I right. guess I don't know <laughs> Well, no, no, wait, 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 wait. So the sister chose her path, but the brother path was already laid for him. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 Did I yeah. Miss the, that? The, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 in, in that episode, in that particular episode, you saw that the brother was walking towards the flame, and he was telling his sister to go to the other way, go the other way. She was like, "I'm never going to leave you." Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought he chose to walk in those flames because. Right. Oh he... no! 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 Oh wow! No, no, I missed no, no, that. No, no. Wow! No! No! Because th- think about think about this. Prior to them becoming demons, she was. Oh, okay. She was okay. It was him who was a a, a runt, a ruckus, and and a and a um and a, not assassin, but a um hitman, not a hitman. Uh, from a debt collector. Thank you, debt collector. He was a debt collector. Mm. So, so yeah, yeah. His path was already laid for him based off of what he was already doing. But she had the, and that was interesting. And thinking about it now, she actually had the choice of taking. Oh, well, I'm just gonna say either heaven or hell. Yeah, that's, that's um, yeah, yeah. But she chose mm-hmm. to stay with him, which then speaks to the bond of siblings and 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 keeping hold fast to your your brothers or sisters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that that whole fight really at one point was just about that. It's like, oh, look at you. You're so weak. I thought that was hilarious when Gyutaro was just slapping Tanjiro. I could not stop laughing watching that. (laughs) You can't even protect your sister, like grabbing his head, just bringing him around. I felt bad. Yeah. Yeah. I I felt bad in that scene. I was like, he's actually going to die. Like, I thought there was no hope. Like, and Nosuke got stabbed. And then yes. the dude was like stuck in the rubble. And then what's his face? His hand got cut. I was like, they're done. <laughs> That's it. It's the end. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hold what? on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We got to we got to talk about Inosuke being able to fit into small holes. OK, that and seems- change his or- organs around as well. Right. <laughs> as you know, it's kind of broken. Inosuke is so cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you learn to do that on the mountain. That's what I'm saying. Like, how do you know, uh, you know? how to do all that? <laughs> no, no. Well, if he was Go raised ahead. by wild boars, then they also like to forge and dig as well. And it's almost like any animal can fit. If their head can fit through, their body can too. Right. So that's something that he picked up. That yeah. that you know the that, beast that breathing part makes a lot of crap. sense. This yeah. Uh, him shifting his organs around is the part to me. That made a little less sense, but I, I'm going to let it cry. slide. 
I almost cried. Even though I knew what was gonna happen, I was like, yo, this can't this can't be it. <laughs> this can't be it. This can't be it. <laughs> Oh, I got so. That's sad. I would love I for them like, to just change one no. major thing in the anime that wasn't in the manga. It's like, no, wait, what do you mean they they killed the Nosuke in the Entertainment District arc? That's not what happened in the book. <laughs> yeah, Thank I was. <laughs> if the Nosuke died, I was going to riot. I right. he's like he's like one of my he's my favorite. He's up there. Yeah, I, I do love mm-hmm. Nosuke. I do too, man. I do too. But With his pretty uh, face, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and that does uh, that does bring us to another major theme in Demon Slayer, especially recently, and it's never give up. Oh yeah, never give up. You know, set your heart ablaze. Kind of hard. I've seen a lot of people get the tattoo. I don't really blame them. Hmm. Uh, we can see it. Blaze. Uzui gets his arm cut off. He pretends he's dead so he can stop poison from circulating for a minute, and he comes right back. One arm, mm-hmm. two swords, and he makes it work. He made it work. Rinkoku, he made it work. For real he work. Got it and everything. Rope. He still made it work. And Goku wouldn't with a hand in his body. Oh. Yeah. He wouldn't let it go. <laughs> yeah. Tanjiro uh. with a scythe in his mouth going through his yeah. jaw. Yeah. That yeah. part. Yeah. 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 Right. And that's even in, you know, we can see that in the Bible to never give up. It brings us to a verse I found earlier, uh, Galatians 6, 9. that says, let us not get tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Mm -hmm. Because they know they can't give up. Because that harvest is coming. They just got to earn it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So I have James 1 and 12. It says, blessed is the one who remains steadfast under trial. For when he stood, the, then he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. All you see, all you see is the, these, these three young knuckleheads persevere and grow. To that now they are they have fought an upper moon. <laughs> right. It was the weakest upper moon, which you know Ogoro pointed out when he got there. He was like, What do you mean you almost died? This is just upper moon six, bro. Get up. It don't which, matter. It's it's still it, upper moon. It's still upper moon. It, even if it's the upper moon six, don't care. It's still upper right. moon. Which and they're I upper moons for a reason. Right. They I think like it gets the first lost over to... in the show. No, go ahead. Yeah. I think you were saying what I was about to say. Yeah, they were like the first ones to get that job done, right? Like ever? Yeah. And yeah. not ever, but in, but in I think it was years. like a hundred yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So And yeah. he's like, Oh, no big deal. No, it actually is a big deal. Actually, it's a huge deal. Get out of here. <laughs> There's hope. And th- and they're new to the core. They are <laughs> they are still new to the core. They're like rookies. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, they yeah. they barely passed final selection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, did Anosuke even what? go through final selection? Thank you. I was just thinking that. I was like, wait, was Anosuke there final selection? He no. just showed up at the house. He just showed up. <laughs> yeah, and they, and they well, accepted know. him too. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they did. He earned it. He taught himself. But I like, do everything. Right. Uh, dude, he made up his own breathing form, which is crazy. Yeah. That gets overlooked too. <laughs> exactly. He just made it up. <laughs> I forget that he did that until he like announces whatever he's both about to do. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. He made that like, up. Nope. <laughs> no one else does that. That's just him. Yeah. And it's just that. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Give my man his credit, please. Yes. Boy. Exactly. <laughs> but we got to. I gotta say, I did when uh, when they released the last episode of Entertainment District Arc. I went back and read from then on in the manga again that day. Yep. Yep. It's I so did the good. same thing. I did the yeah. same thing. It's yep. so good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing. But uh, what actions can we learn to take from or not to take from Demon Slayer? I, I think the main thing that we could take away 
is persevering through trials, especially if you have an object, objective or goal in mind. Because sometimes we, we, might, we might go through some stuff and then get deterred. But if you have an objective or goal in mind saying that regardless of what I'm going to face or regardless of what I'm going to go through, I'm going to still try to reach this goal, that's the main thing I, I would see that we should be able to take away from this. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Just never give up. Mm-hmm. Cut off a demon's head if you see one and if you're able. I think that's a good lesson to take. Uh, you know, give if the circumstance arises. Uh, but definitely never give up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait. Didn't Tanjiro isn't this isn't this Tanjiro's third sword or second sword? Second. Is this his second sword? Second. Okay. Oh, he breaks it again? I mean I'm not surprised if he does, but he breaks it again later on. No. No, no? but oh. this, this <laughs> but this one was 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 warped. I mean not warped, but uh it was chipped. Yeah. 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 I, I yeah. think they just repair it. I think I'm not. I don't really remember. I do. I do. I'm not gonna say nothing else. But just I was just like, wait, he didn't had a couple of swords though, and then this is this is not how it's supposed no, to. No, no, you're right. You're right. It's not supposed to be. You're not supposed to be breaking your sword. Period. I don't care. <laughs> right. And then Anosuke just takes his as soon as he gets him, and he's like, <laughs> "Gotta fix this up." <laughs> yeah, I do love the sword makers. They are great supporting characters. They are. Oh, so That's why the next funny. arc is so good. Mm-hmm. That's why the next arc is a great one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. You know. Yeah. But mm-hmm. definitely never give up, never surrender, be steadfast. Uh what do you think would be different if we took these actions, if the characters we discussed took those actions, which they do, uh, or if we all simply learned from the theme of not giving up? Because, I, you know, I think a lot more people would get a lot more done. Uh, they'd live a lot happier once they accomplish their goals. Mm-hmm. And could be good for the church. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, it so, 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 yeah, I, but I think people... So I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, and this might sound crazy, but I remember a Catholic priest said, happiness is being in the presence of God. And we spend all of our lives filling with, with things and people and those things, trying to fill that void, which is God himself. And so we can recognize that happiness does not is not found in any other thing except for God, and that that be your objective, that be your focus, then you will find true happiness within yourself because you know that within you, that's where the Spirit of God resides anyway. And you won't, you won't have no issues, no problems about the stuff that happens in life because it don't matter. It don't. Right. I think that's really what you should never give up working on, which, you know, Alex should know. They hammered this into us a couple of years at the camp we both went to is mm-hmm. you should always work on your relationship with God you should always try to get closer, strengthen that connection, learn more, just make it better every day. And you just never give up because it'll never be enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Right. So I have a question for you guys and the audience. I would love to know your answers. Uh, if you could either, Choose a master from the Hashira to learn their breathing or come up with your own form of breathing. Which would you choose? And if you make your own, what would it be? I know my hmm. answer. I'm learning. Mine is Ring my mine is Ring Goku. Ring White Goku. Breathing. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Yep. That's that's mine. It's just just it's just I don't know. Just that whole that whole fight scene in the tr- manga train and at the yeah it was just yeah I would yes that's what I want to learn from. Oh yeah, incredibly mm. inspiring character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, know. I, I'm choosing sound. <gasps> I've got to learn from my boy Tengen. <laughs> you know I you know I'm not I'm not a flashy guy, 
But <laughs> I love, hey, hey, I'm not is a flashy guy. Is, 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 it, is, it, is, it, is it is it is it really that he has the three wives? That's what you want? Is that what you're trying to get at? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, you know, it's not you know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna stop it if it happens. Uh, uh, but I just think yeah. his, uh-huh. his is so cool. Uh huh. It's, it's awesome. Uh, Alex, you you already know this. It's the three wives. That's that's what it is. Yeah. It's three wives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they're cool wives. Like they, they, they can, are, they can yeah. fight. They There's, can fight themselves. They kind of, they kind of remind really me want. of like the three main characters in those games: Tanjiro, yeah. Zenitsu. In a way, they yeah. kind of mirror them. I just want someone I can throw hands with. That's, yeah, that's you know, he's point. just he's just a lot stronger than me, so it takes three. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think, Alex? Well. I'm not sure because I don't know the rest of the Hashira True. breathing forms yet because I have uh, not ooh. read the manga. But mm. if I had to choose from the one that I do know already, I would be tied between water and Inosuke's form because they're just both really cool. Wait, yeah, hold on. Not- no, wait, 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 wait. It- We've seen water... Fire. What's the what's the butterfly? Is it insect. a poison? In, it's insect. I thought it was poison. I, insect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Insect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which sounds awful. But it sounds cool. gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's like insect. You've seen at least, you seen at least four. You've seen at least four of the of the uh, twelve. Yeah. 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 You'll you'll I'm see them all in action. Guy. Don't worry. He's he's crazy. Is he? I, you know, that's a different spoiler filled conversation to have. <laughs> he's crazy. Yeah. He just so has yeah, a you snake know, on his shoulder. Beast breathing is cool. You're interesting. Mm. Good choice. Good choice. Please do not hesitate if you're listening to let us know what you would choose or if you'd make your own and what it would be. Uh, bonus points if you come up with the, uh, the additional forms. Go crazy. And uh, now it's time for our wrap up. So, uh, Alex, do you have any recommendations for, for our recommendations. audience? Recommendations. I recommend for my scary genre, horror genre fan people to watch Haunting a Hill House with me because it's really good. Especially, and if you like deep stories that are beautifully written and tied together well, you're gonna you're gonna like this. Like, I wish it was a book series. That's how much I like it so far because I love books. So. Mm-hmm. I recommend that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, Kino, you got any recommendations? Yes. So um, I will recommend Abbott Elementary. Okay, <gasps> this is a series on ABC that is yes. surprisingly funny. It is yes. very witty and funny. Yes. I was like, "Yo, this is this is a this is a great show. This is a great show." So yeah, that's that will be my recommendation. Um, just for you just to get a chance to just watch that and just be like, yo, this is this is dope. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I, I, I got to say, even if you aren't a gamer, my recommendation has to be Elden Ring. I love it. It's hard. It's rewarding. Because it's a Dark Souls game. It's hard. It's real hard. But it's so good. Mm. Open world. Uh, you know, crafting system. Deep combat, simple, but, you know, there's a learning curve there. Incredible game design. I just Hmm. love it. It's so good. Pick it up. If you have a PS5, it's mandatory. You have to buy it. I don't make the rules. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But PS4, Xbox One, you can get it. You should. It's incredible. Uh, If you're interested, you can follow me uh, on Instagram at destiny. Uh, that's M-A-N-I-F-I-N-E-S-S-E dot D-E-S-T-I-N-Y. Or you can just check out my page on systematicecology.org and check out my other podcast with one of our fellow Systematic Ecology hosts, Joshua Knoll, called The Whole Church Podcast, where we just talk about church unity. That's how we met Kino. Uh, <gasps> Kino? Uh, Yay! Yeah. Uh, wh- where can people see more of you, follow you? 
<sighs> you can follow me, but I ain't I ain't gonna be on there, but it's all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> same. I might my name might be complicated, but I don't do anything on there. I just thought the name was cool. <laughs> No, but you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Zion Minister. And then on Facebook, it's just my first name, Kino Kennedy on Facebook. That's where I am. I'm not on TikTok. Um, yeah, I'm not on TikTok. My wife is, but I'm not. Right. And that's okay. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I tell people they're blessed to not be on TikTok because you waste so much time on that stupid oh, I see app. It. Yes. I see it. <laughs> I, I, I see it. I see it. I'm like, yo, that's, that's why I'm not even... Yeah. Not even a part of that. Every, yeah. every night I get in bed and open it, and all of a <laughs> right? sudden it's like eleven thirty. Right, I have to wake up in five oh. hours. Oh, so you got a bit early. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. So, Alex, where can people <laughs> see more of you? <laughs> I am on Instagram at underscore Alex the Baddest underscore, and I am also on Twitter, but I forgot my handle. And I'm on TikTok. <laughs> so I post dumb stuff. And I also forgot my handle for that. So, I mean, I don't know. Just Instagram's cool. Yes. <laughs> you just don't. You don't want anybody to follow you. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. You got some stalkers out there. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys can follow me. It's just I don't remember my Twitter or my TikTok handle. Sure, sure. It is what it is. <laughs> oh but, my gosh uh, go to our website in the description to let us know what you've been geeking out on and what we should be geeking out on and remember we are all a chosen people a geekdom of priests This was an Anazao Ministries podcast. If you enjoyed this show and would like to learn more about our network, be sure to check out the Anazao Ministries podcast network.